What do we need to know about this solar eclipse that's happening April 8th? I'm kind of wondering. Seems like there's a lot of stuff going around. I don't know if it's true. I don't know. People are sending out like, you know, stay home, schools closed, be prepared. Da, 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 da. Um, there's a lot of talk about it. Now, I know it's a large solar eclipse. I know it's going over a lot of places, I believe, called Nineveh. Um, I'm just kind of curious, like, is this solar eclipse a big deal? If so, why? I mean, I guess a solar eclipse is a big deal in any way you want to cut it because it's a lot of moon energy, all that stuff. But I'm more concerned about, like, what do we need to know to prepare? So that's what I want to see. And of course, this is for entertainment purposes only, not fact. Psychic downloads my opinion. What I see in the cards, at ah, da, da. What is the main thing we need to think about when it comes to this April 8th solar eclipse. Because I saw things too, like, oh, we're going to be shooting rockets in the sky at the moon or something. Like, what? What? I don't know. Eight of swords. Well, obviously, they know things are not telling us. Obviously. Allegedly. <clears throat> in the past... Hmm. Please hold. It's good. Okay, goodbye. No. <laughs> what I'm getting out of this, this is actually somehow, don't ask me how, somehow this is a good. It's ushering in something good. It's ushering in something good for us humans. Uh, it is ushering in a, a time where, let's just say your divine downloads from God are actually getting through. Knowledge is coming through. Uh, this is people, more people, being able to use their discernment for a change. People are like thinking again. People are like, it's a, it's a one at wakener. Wake up. Good morning. Wake up. Harnessing this energy for victory for humans. It's almost like a um, way for um, humans to harness this energy to, um, re-establish their firm foundation or re-establish a foundation in the first place or, or create a foundation in the first place where there has not been a foundation where there's people just flailing around and overdosing on stupid. This is a helping. This energy is helping to bring in like the ding, wake up. Here's your firm foundation. Now you can start using knowledge that you're discerning. You're, you're critically thinking again. Um, welcome back to the land of people with brains. Maybe they'll start using their blinkers. I don't know, but that God, that would be great. Uh, there's this idea here, getting out of troubled waters. The energy that is coming through in the solar eclipse is very important. This is to help turn on people's light bulbs. It's to help people get their marbles back and organized. Uh, and this is to help all of us. Okay, I like that. I do like that because I mean, it's almost like it's a dawning of a new day, helping us to, oh, let's get to it. I know someone had asked in the uh, Moon Moth Manor, you can join aliciawicker.com, on one of my videos, I believe it might have been about the bridge, the key bridge, um, asking about, you know, how I'd mentioned that reading, we're at like, the top of the roller coaster and we're about to crest and boom, and would that be a good thing? This would tend to go along with that. Like we're heading in the right direction. Does it mean that it's like not bumpy or crazy or scary after we cross the top? No, but it looks like we're ushering into some new type of era. Okay. Let's just ask, is it true? I don't know. I can't trust anybody's stories no more. So is it true that, you know, NASA or whoever, somebody is going to be firing rockets? When you look at the path of how 
how far this solar eclipse is going. How many rockets would you have to be firing? At, maybe there's a critical time. I don't know. I don't fire rockets. <clears throat> is there any truth to why we would be firing rockets? And if so, what is the deal about that? And the rocket trackler going to the moon in the air. Uh, Okay, if if that was legit, <clears throat> if that was a legit plan, I believe <sighs> I know I'm going to get my tinfoil hat on. If that was a legit plan, it was the plan at first, no bueno. Bad guys wanted to do it. Bad guys have been taken out of it, though. It's almost like they've been overruled. You've been overruled, you nasty bastard. Overruled. It's almost like we're telegraphing our moves. We're telling you what's going to happen. So when shit goes wrong, you'll be like, wow, it must be this, the eclipse or ah, whatever. That was the intention. Whatever's happening now has been perfected and kind of interesting. It does look like his sword's firing off into the air. This is to take action to allow the um, eclipse energy to be good. Okay. Okay. Why the warnings? Is it because I assume the warnings are because there was an intent to do no bueno, but if is that simply it? That's simply it. Adapting Tina Turner songs for an eclipse. All right. Why the warnings? Why the danger, danger, Will Robinson? Or maybe there is danger. Danger, danger. Let's see. Yeah, <laughs> of course. In the past, King of Wands. Okay, so the bad guys were wanting to harness this for bad. That is why the the notices, warnings, danger, danger, energy messages are going out, right? Danger, danger, right? Because we're in control of this shit, or at least we think we were. We're not in control of this. We had a lot of options of things we're going to do. We were hoping that we're going to harness this for ourselves. Somebody didn't get the message here um, that those plans have been terminated. I don't know how the messaging system works there. Page of Cups. Yeah, something new is offered in, in place of it. Um, secrets. Secretos are coming. That higher intuition, discernment, all that jazz. And... It's all like it's bringing in good stuff. So I think when we see uh, all this like danger, watch out. Don't leave your house. Oh, don't eat corn on that day or I don't know. Stay home. Stay safe. I think it's because there was a lot of options like you saw with the seven of cups. And I've seen a lot of these stories where it's this idea of like planes could fall out of the sky, trains could fall off the rails, da, 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 right? All of these different things that could happen. Those perhaps were plans they were hoping to do to make this like a whole, I don't know, cornucopia of fuckery. So if you're in the line of the eclipse and you can see it, what advice is there for you? I can't see it here, and I'm not traveling anywhere. But if you're already there, and some people I believe are traveling to see it, if you're traveling there, you're going to be there so you can witness it. What advice is there for you? Don't be outside with your pants down in the snow. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. First, use your brain. Use your brain. 
Like, don't go doing anything dumb. Like, take care of you first. You, your family, take care of that first. That's most important here. Um, there's this idea of, like, a, you don't want to be outside and, like, you know, jacking up your eyeballs, okay? Um, take your proper precautions, okay? Um, to watch the event. There's something very satisfying, I think, about being in the actual path. I'm not sure if it's, like, almost like you're first in line to get the energy. <laughs> Lucky, I guess. I It's almost that. It's gonna, it's almost like it's a burp, upgrade, burp, quick. So maybe that makes sense. I guess if you're in the direct path of it. Oh! The secrets get revealed. Enlightenment. So you can have some discernment in this crazy ass world we live in. Sounds good. But there is that idea. Protect yourself. Don't go be doing dumb stuff. You know how, like, there's always, like, some Florida man in every state doing some dumb stuff. No offense to Florida. I'm just saying. You know what I mean. Just uh, make sure you're, like, got your noggin screwed on right. Okay? So that's what I'm getting. I I, I think it's good. We'll, we'll see, you know? But I'm reading this, what, March 28th. So far, so good. I didn't feel any scary stuff. So... Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Adios.